What's up, guys? It's your boy, Kyokje! And your girl, Tofu! Yeah! Alright, we're going into Villain Saga episode 21 and 22. Yes. Ooh, two more videos, four more episodes mm -hmm. to the end of Vinland Saga. We're getting close to the the banquet. Yes, called it the bloodbath. The bloodbath, red wedding. Oh, the red wedding. <laughs> yeah, dude. The red wedding. That's why I wore red today. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> Represent. Do you think, pew, pew. Do you think we're going to have the red wedding this two episodes? Nah, I think it's going to be like a build up into it. Mm -hmm. And then the last two episodes is going to be... The banquet. The banquet? Yeah. So that's going to be the closing of Villain Saga. Dun, 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 dun. The climax. Yeah. And then off to season two after that. By the way, when is season two coming out? No news on that one, right? There is a season two confirmed. Well, obviously they have to after this. Come on, I this hope is a, this so. a good they show. Better. Yeah. But all right, we're going to 2122. Tofu, are you ready for this one? I'm ready. Yeah, so we are going straight into Vinland Saga. We just uploaded Vinland Saga, but we're going to keep uploading Vinland Saga because right now it's getting too good. To stop. To stop, yeah. So, Tofu, are you ready? Yes. Let's we... go. Oh, wait, hold yeah. on. What? Let's go. Yeah, let's go start the show. Oh, going straight into the intro, I see. Gonna be a good episode then. I see. We need, you know what we need to do? What? This is, this is a content idea for our channel. Okay. We should do a video learning how to play shogi. Oh, shogi? Because every single anime that we've watched, like, I feel like they always bring up shogi. Yeah, that's true. Don't how are you going to do that? How are you going to, how are you going to do it? We'll research how to play shogi. <laughs> I saw at our Japanese market that they have the shogi. Oh, they have shogi? They have shogi. Ah. Oh, the Viking slave traders? Yeah, we're learning about Vikings here. Sounds like Loki talking. No? Oh. Yeah. Eric. Oh. Something's here. Oh, Jones Vikings? No. Oh, nobleman's ship. <laughs> so they're telling you to get out of here? Oh, ah! wait, oh, it says Canute. They're gonna meet. This is reunion. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Ah, yeah, he's right there, dude. Out. Yeah. He sees him? Oh, he oh sees yeah, him. yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. That man. So. It's the one that killed Thor's. And watch when he sees Thorfinn with him, he's gonna be like, What? Yes. There's Thorfinn. So they're trying to pick out what each scenario might happen. No, that's not Thorfinn. Oh, it's not. Yeah, because oh. I, 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 I was thinking, I was like, Wait, there's people watching too, so. Eric's gonna kill us. Oh, oh my god, hold on. Oh, wait, that's wait, not Eric no, that's either. Not... Whoa. 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 Prince Kono actually got hit. So they tried to assassinate him here. Yeah. What the hell? Nobody saw this guy. Where is... Yeah, I was going to say, where's Thorfinn? <laughs> oh my god, this is where he's going to see Thorfinn. Ah! Ah! Who do you see? <gasps> Wait, does Thorfinn not remember? This guy's so stupid, he doesn't know Thorfinn's with yeah. us, Claude. Oh. <laughs> His bay just popped out. <laughs> Do they know of him? They know of him! Oh, so the word spread. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, he really doesn't remember him. He knows. <gasps> yeah. Leaf, Eric, Leaf. You found Erickson. him. You found him. Leaf, Erickson. <laughs> Did 
Dude, this guy got shot like right. Dude, his yeah. chest. What? 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 Oh! This isn't her, him. It's someone else. Wait, no! They switched the boats. Huh? Yeah, it's a decoy. Cause that, of course, you got the helmet. Right. He had the helmet. And that's why he's wearing different clothes. <laughs> I couldn't find anybody that looked like him. That's a guy. Poor woman, though. Damn. Poor woman. Nah, but I don't think she. Nah. Mm -hmm. Yup. I think Ascala, you know. He knows. He knows. He outsmarted Floki once again. Second time. Oh no, his mom's sick. Damn. He didn't suffer these last 15 years just to go home. Whoa. Wow. That's Bjorn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this room's just not. He's yeah. trying to be lighthearted. <laughs> it's time for you to make your evil, evil plans. plans. Why is he asking about his leg? Well, the arrows. Oh. Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is it? Is this the king? Yep, that's the king. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. What? They're gonna. He, they're saying he laid a curse on this town. That means the people are gonna that, get killed. Yeah, he's good. All these innocent kids. Families. Because they don't want the town to talk and it to spread, okay. I think. Yep. They're gonna wipe everyone out, right? Yes. Oh no. Wait, what? what? Wait, he's the one? So he did it and it made the rumor oh. that it was the key, that the Joms. And that's why Joms and them are saying that. Oh. The king is saying there's a curse now. This guy planned it. But they don't understand how savage the king is. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Orkel can see what Ascala's mind is about. <laughs> yep. He's a snake. Uh... I was See? just about to say, I think Ascala is smarter than that. Yep. Yeah. Yep, he's talking. Dang. <laughs> so this guy's, they're using Gunner as the messenger. Yes. <laughs> without him knowing it. <laughs> yes. Damn, Ascala. Wow, wow, wow. God. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh, he's trying to get dude, his Dude, do you see how out? he wrapped this so, uh, knife? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and Thorkel is he's, he's watching, so it's his <laughs> turn to watch. Yeah. He wants to see. I can't believe the prince is going to watch, too. Yeah. Be the witness. Oh, Bjorn's here. Wait, is this what Bjorn was talking about? We'll be done soon? Oh, they're going oh, to duel. Their duel. Because he wants to die on the battlefield, right? Oh, yeah, because Valhalla. Valhalla. Oh, my God. Oh.
That hurts, that's touching. Expecting Dude, that at all. I was all. not expecting that either. The oh. reunion, I'm thinking, you know, when we saw Leif Erickson, I'm like, oh, this is going to be the reunion. Wow. So that's what he meant by tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Send me to Valhalla tomorrow. Dude. And that guy, like, when he raised his sword, you just know, like, he has no strength. Like, he's no. just. He's just doing He came like, to die. Like, yeah. and say his last word. Like, and wow that was i didn't think i would feel so kind of hurt or emotional for bjorn yeah emotional. freak bjorn like the mush the shroom guy yeah what he's the yeah i mean we did know that he was gonna die yes but, but the way of dying, we didn't think about. This, yeah, not like I, this. Yeah, I I never thought that wow. they would go and, you know, I forgot about that whole Valhalla thing, dying with your sword in your hand. Yeah. And, oh, oh my, my God, God. Dude, even, like, the part where uh, he was like, dude, I'm so sorry, I missed the vital spot. Like, oh, damn. He was just like, I just wanted to be your friend. Friend, that's it, like. He, he knew he hated him. He knew that, he knew that he was lonely. He was suffering, right? He was going through all that, and Bjorn just wanted to be it's by great. him. And think about it. Bjorn was the only guy, only guy. Dorfin doesn't even count because he, okay. he just wants to kill him. Yes. But Bjorn was the only guy out of his whole men that stuck with him till the end, till the freaking end. Even though he knew all of this. <sighs> He, yeah, even though, man, and when you think about the past episodes, like, he's just like, I don't know about Ascala. Like, I wish he opened up. Like, I'm not really sure about him. And it's always the other guys that was saying, I would lay my life for him and all that stuff. And in the end, it was Bjorn that stuck with Ascala till the end because he just wanted to become, be his friend. He looked yes. up to Ascala. And at least Ascala sent him off with, you are my friend. Yeah. You're my only friend. I was hoping he heard that. I was like, dude, when, right when yeah. he fell, I was like, no. And then his eyes moved. Woo! Uh, wow. God, just having to kill your own friend or kill the closest person to you, that's got to be so tough. But back in the day, that's how it is, right? Right? Oh, my. Damn. That was it. Tomorrow was Valhalla. Send me to Valhalla. Freak, all this time I thought it was the duel between... Yeah. Well, I mean, it is Askeladd and Thorfinn, but damn, for once, I'm not... I, for once, I'm like, damn, chill, Thorfinn. Yeah, <laughs> like, dude, I, you know? I agree with you there. I'm like, just like... Okay, because I, I don't think Thorfinn was expecting all of this to happen. I don't think either, you know? It's like, for us, it's just like, yeah, go ahead and fight, like, you know? But yeah. for once, it's just like, damn... Respect for chill. Yeah, like, respect for Bjorn. Yeah, damn. He that's he went out like a man. Yeah, he did. Wow. That's yeah. Damn, just imagine that, dude. They cracked jokes, gave him wine, alcohol the night before, and was just like, you know, they cracked jokes with each other. That, they try to keep it light. They try to keep it light, and it was just like, all right, man. See you tomorrow. And he freaking tomorrow. marched his way 
through up that, the hill. Up the hill with all that pain. Oh God, my heart hurts for Bjorn. I mean, there's a Me lot too. that happened in this episode with you know we have um, Leaf Erickson found Thorfinn and. But damn, I want to dedicate my review for Bjorn. As I well. like, know that was just wow. a huge moment. That was just a huge scene, emotional it, scene yeah, right there. It was very emotional. Holy cow! Yeah, <laughs> because it's kind of like you know, it's almost feel like Askala just moved on. You know, after he found Knut, and you know, after all his banishment, you know, they they died and all that stuff. It's like he, it feels like his friend just moved on. Yes. And Bjorn was there just trying to chase after that. Like, stay you know, with him. Yeah, just still stay with him, even though he's like so weak. He's just trying to stay with him. But, it, you know, it, it's almost like you have like a, your best friend, but your best friend starts hanging out with other group, you know, <laughs> the popular kids yeah. now. And you're just like, man, like I just looked up to you. <laughs> and you sent them. Wow. Oh my gosh. Bjorn. Wow. Bjorn. All right. All right. Well, um, Leif Erikson, yeah. Thorfinn, his dad, mom, his mom is sick. His mom's sick. Leif Erikson's going to stay in that town till uh, Thorfinn decides to come home, but that's not going to happen. I forgot. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, but I forgot how the little Thorfinn looked <laughs> before Me when they too. showed the comparison. Yeah. I was like, damn. Huge this, yeah, this guy went from the happy little boy to a freaking... Killing machine. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and his name's going around everywhere uh, as the one that went against Thorkel. Thorkel. Wait, he, what was his last name? He had like a different last name, right? Yeah, but it started with a B, I think, or something. Yeah. yeah. Know, some long, weird name. Yeah. But also, yeah. Mm -hmm. But but also, Askala, his, uh, that guy is mine. So, I mean, the prince was the one that wanted a decoy. No, the no. prince didn't want the decoy. Askeladd planned the decoy. Yeah, Askeladd planned it. He's the one that planned all of this. Yes. So that they spread rumors that, and then the rumors are going to say, like, the king is trying to kill his own kid. Yes, but we saw the other side where the king is like, you just cursed this town, Askeladd. So we know what's going to happen that what Askeladd planned is actually going to be not good for this town. He just murdered or massacred a whole town because of this. We'll see about that. Uh, I feel like I feel like that's what's gonna happen because they say curse this town and they're looking down. So I feel that's what I feel. Yeah. Um, but do you think that's why Thorfinn wanted to um, duel Askeladd right now? Is because he wants to go back home? Oh, oh. Yeah. Actually, you're right because after he met Lee Erickson, it's like. All right, like the only thing I care about is killing Askeladd. Askeladd. He so, doesn't care about all this other kings stuff. No. All of this, this has nothing to do with him. What uh -uh. has he has that has to do with him is Askeladd and solely only Askeladd. Yep, yep, and that's it. Like it's almost to a point where, well, I mean, he might have acted like in front of Leif Erikson that he doesn't care about his mom, yes. but he's probably like, oh shoot, she's getting sick, so I should get rid of Askeladd now and just head back home. Yes, well, yes, yes, because he does care about his family, he does care about them, but the thing is, is he hasn't suffered these 15 years just for to nothing. go home, yeah, just for nothing, so he has to keep that tough face on, or else he's, exactly. it's all to waste. Yeah, exactly, it's not, he's not going to get soft after just because he met him, so yeah. that's why he probably rushed it, like, going to Oscar, I said, no, we got to do this now, like, yes. I don't care, I don't care if the banquet's tomorrow, I don't care... I don't, I don't care, care if you guys gonna fight tomorrow. Or I, I don't, don't care. My arm's still broken. I don't care. My mom's getting sick. Let's do this now and let's get this done with. I've got my ticket home right here. Yep, yep. Oh wow, that today's episode was good. Wow, wow. sad. Oh, emotional. I think Thorfinn's gonna regret it. <laughs> Thorfinn. Yeah. But then, like you said, this guy wants. Maybe this guy wants to go home now too. He don't care about any of this. He don't care about Prince Canute and saving the world. And no, but what I mean by regret it is, I think Askeladd's gonna be really harsh on him, because like uh, you said, you... he's not in a good mood. Vinland Saga is a show where it just gets better and better and better as each episode goes on. You cried for the enemy. 
I know I did. Yeah, because Bjorn, remember when first Thor's yeah, came out? Yeah, yeah. Because he's the one that shroomed up and then yeah. went all crazy and you messed everything up. You cried for the enemy. Up. I know. <laughs> He's gonna play! <laughs> He's gonna pick Thorben! Nah. Yeah, ask a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that, that'll make him the weakest yes. then. But if it wasn't for Askeladd, Thorfinn would have lost. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he keeps calling the prince a woman. <laughs> He's throwing down his sword? He's gonna find a bare, bare, bare fist. Remember Askeladd's fast too. Yeah, no chance. What'd he do? He just blocked it. Oh, wow. Oh, oh ow, that hurt. Ow. I fucked it right on my pimple over here. Oh my gosh. That's oh. right. He knows how Thorfinn works. Stop it, please. Wow. Wait. No. Wait, he's, he's not. sick of him as in. He's not. Nah. Nah, yeah, no. Nah. Oh, mm -mm. he's passed out, man. <laughs> oh oh my gosh! My gosh! Wow! He messed his face up. He doesn't. He doesn't feel like he has time for this. Oh, he's oh. teaching him. Yeah. He also knows that, you know. Whoa. I feel like we're going to learn something dark. Yeah. Oh, Oh, my shoot. God. It was his father. Oh. He... Wait. Wait. Olaf is the father, him. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. So he killed Olaf. Yeah. He's the one that killed Olaf. And he's going to teach Thorfinn how to kill someone you hate. So it's like he knows that he's going to die from Thorfinn one day. Yes. He wants to make sure he does it right. That's why they said... The ash. ash covered yeah. in ash. Yeah, covered in ash. Oh, we get to see Olaf. Is that is that a head? Oh. oh. Well, it kind of looks like him. Yeah. No wonder why he hated him. So Olaf didn't even know about Askeladd, huh? No, he had so many. Yeah, he had a lot. That's villain, right? Wait, villain? Oh, well, when Thor's way, that's villain, and for them, it's like art where Artorius lives. Oh. Because West is America. Yeah. Canute is hearing all of this, too. Oh, she oh, went crazy. Yeah. That's Olaf? Oh, oh no. Oh, no. She just thought oh, he was. No. She just thought he was King Arthur. I hope she didn't say it. Man, it's like almost the same as Canute too. Yes. Whoa. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Whoa! Wow, he's so good! 
This is the first time using it. Your child. It's just like Thorfinn. Yes. <laughs> wow. What about his mom, though? Dude, look at that. He's just playing all along just so he can get to his get his head. Oh, <gasps> what? Did he kill the mom, too? No, oh. he, he killed his the the girl he's sleeping with and oh. him. Oh, to frame his brother. Yep. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, so they probably fought after the dad's wealth. That's why he hates them so much. All right. Yep. He's like Knut. Orphan and Knut. Yeah. They're all similar in a way. Yeah. But Thorfinn didn't have any issues with his father, really. He didn't want to kill his father. No, but he's playing the same game as Ascala, except it's different. He's going one. He wants to duel him. Yes. Oh my God! He's telling him. Whoa. Oh, he's taking Bjorn. Yeah, you know, he's got to, you know, at least bury him. bury him. Knut hasn't killed anybody. Nope. That's right. Knut hasn't. He has no blood in his hand. Yes. Time for Thorfinn to really take this in and think about it. All the people he killed yep. for Askeladd. Wow. So we just got a backstory of Askeladd. Yeah, he killed his father. He killed his father, but it's like he's the same thing that Thorfinn's trying to do to Askeladd. Askeladd was doing the same thing to his father. Well, I mean, not same way, same thing, because Askeladd, he uses more of his brain, whereas yes. Thorfinn uses more of his emotions, right? Yes, and that's why he's trying to teach him in that story. Yeah, and that's why he's like, he's getting, he's also getting tired. It's like, I think that's why he's trying to teach Thorfinn. It's like, dude. You can keep swinging at your sword. You can keep yelling as much as you want. You're not going to get what you want, right? Yes. Is that what he's saying? Yeah, that's what he's saying. You're not going to get what you want, right? Doing things the way that you're doing. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to teach you how to kill somebody that you hate. And yeah. that's what he was teaching him. And he, and the way he did it with his father was he played, he tr he literally played like he he gained their trust. Yeah, he played the role of a good boy, a yeah. good son. Yeah, and I think this is what Askeladd is trying to teach Thorfinn too, is that in life like this, you can't, you know, you can't do it like this, or, yes. you know, you're just you're just becoming an idiot. You're, mm -hmm. That's what he's angry about, is that Thorfinn's an idiot. Yes. And he wants him to learn, like, dude, there's... Try to get the bigger picture. You need to get. You need to think of the bigger picture. You need to do do it like, you know, how, just like how Asla, what he's saying is just. Yes, just do it logically. Do it, just do it the smart way. Don't be dumb about it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that too smart way, but also it's like don't be just like all oh, emotional, like oh yes. battle me, battle me, do this, do this, do this, like think, like you know. Yes. The big picture, but. Askeladd is really trying to help Dorfin and just seeing Askeladd really teach Dorfin 
you know it we keep saying we keep saying this but it's like Askeladd knows he's gonna die in the hands of Thorfinn one day yes what well, uh, well, today's episode, this episode concluded that he knew he wasn't going to die from, from Thorfinn this way. Yes. Because he said, like, you can duel me as much as you want, as much as you want, and we can put on this stupid play of the show, right? Mm -hmm. But you ain't never going to kill me. So he's no. not, he's, so what we said before saying that he knows he's going to die from Thorfinn, that's false. Because he knows Thorfinn cannot kill him in this state. Yeah, in this state. And that's why he's teaching him right now. If you're going to kill me or if you want to learn how to kill somebody you hate, you got to do it this way. But I think that story just went over his head because then he still came he out still... with the anger. It's like, well, I don't care. But I mean, on the last part, just right when the episode ends, he had a flashback of all the times where he'd been through, you know? So, because he had that time to himself to really think about really what think about it. Askeladd had said. Yeah, because it seems to me that Askeladd killed his father around Thorfinn's age. Yes, he so, did. And Thorfinn's been with Askala for, what, 10 years? Yes. Or 11 years, right? Yeah. So what Askala's probably saying is, you could have killed me the same way that I killed Olaf because you were by my side the whole time. You were useful to me. Yes. You could have gained my trust almost as if, right? Yes. Because if he saw that Thor, Thor's, his father died in front of Askala and he knew right away it's like he acted the way Askala did, then I Thorfinn could have... Ended Askala right here, right? Uh, or yes. somewhere around here. He could have ended him a while back. Remember that also that one scene when Thorfinn did try that though, but Askala knew that he was going to try something like that. When Askala was sleeping and Thorfinn yeah. was going like this, yeah. or he went in to kill him, but Thorfinn didn't do it. But it's because he knows that Thorfinn's not like that. Yes, he knows that Thorfinn's not like that because of tr a warrior. Warrior. A warrior. That's why he's saying, I hate warriors. I hate Vikings. I hate all of you. You know, That's where the whole I hate warriors thing comes from too. Fighting, yeah. And That's right. It, this also shows that Askeladd's I mean, as much as he, he's good at fighting, not he, he's He's he a does, Viking. He's a Viking, right? He's a Viking. He's not a warrior. He's a Viking. But he doesn't like the fact that his skills comes from his father. His blood yes. runs through his the yeah. reason why he's good at swordsman is because his his stupid ass father's blood runs through him and he doesn't like that yeah yeah so yeah Askala basically saying Thorfinn could have done that yeah he's saying he could have done it and but he didn't and he's telling him how to do it so that he can get his head straight and actually start thinking without his emotions for once right wow so we're gonna be seeing we're gonna be seeing Thorfinn change do you think Thorfinn will change after this um, I don't think he's going to be doing Askeladd's dirty work anymore. I think we are going to see, like, a little change, but I don't think anything extreme as Canute. Extre yeah, not probably not extreme as Canute, though, but um, Askeladd's character, he's, he's very interesting, man. Like, yes. not interesting, like, like, oh, he's an interesting, weird way, no. but it's just, like, the things he went through the things like even what he like he's talking about if it's not we're waiting for king artorius we've been waiting for artorius my mother's been waiting for artorius she's been it's almost like saying like same thing as canute i've been waiting for god to come down or like this yes. it's almost like it, they're all intertwined or something right mm -hmm. and because if art if artorius is not going to come and do it then i will come and do it and do it myself and that's why he probably sees that in canute too mm -hmm. but except canute it doesn't go the violent way. Yes, he tries to stay away from violence. He doesn't kill. The others are killing for him. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. He doesn't. But also, when he kills, it's not for. It's not meaningless death. Yeah, it's not a meaningless. It's for death. purposes now. Yes. Yeah. To to for, to reach this utopia world. Yes. Of peace and thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Um. And also, they're talking about, you know, the mother's talking about where Artorius is healing. That's villain, right? To them, that's villain. To I mean, to Thoris is villain. To them, is like that place. I probably... Across the sea to the west. Yeah. From London around there to the west, that's America. That's America. America. Yeah, that's America. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. Damn. Two, this, these two episodes was extremely good. <laughs> yeah, they were. Wow. First Bjorn and now Askeladd. Dude, 
after all this time, I remember back in a couple episodes, I was just like, yeah, Ascala, sometimes he acts without thinking or all that stuff. Nah, this guy's, nah, this guy's different. But he's savage, though. He framed his own half-brother. Half brought, he don't I know he doesn't care about that because they're all the same, because they're all Vikings. All they're all them. they're all fighting. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't care about all of them. He played it really smart. He did play it smart. This guy's been smart since day one. Yeah, very smart. Wow. Everything's so calculated. That's why, like, it, it's almost as if, like, Prince Knut, he's even lucky to have someone like Askeladd. Yeah, he's lucky to have someone like Thorkel. He's lucky to have someone like Thorfinn. It's, it's all there. Yes, they're all meant to just be together in this group and make a boy band. <laughs> yeah, but cool. All right, guys, that was episode twenty one and twenty two. One more video to the season finale. Yes. Wow. Uh, how how are you liking so, Vinland so far? I love wow. it. It's so crazy. It's intense. Yeah. It's emotional. Emotional, yeah, well directed. Very well directed. Yeah, yeah. Wow. All right, cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys very soon for the season finale. Until then, have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Yes, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.